All right, ladies. Well, thank you for jumping on. Hope you all had a wonderful week. Um, mine was a little bit crazy, but um, show of hands of those who actually took one day off this week to mm -hmm. unplug. Yay. Oh, good, Tara, you did. <laughs> That's the thing we're doing. Weird, I know, but we're doing it. Uh, but um, so we've got some exciting stuff going on this week, and um, I've got a big, huge challenge for all of you. I'm going to go a little red on you tonight. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, so it's on the DL, but Pumpkin is being released on Tuesday. Okay, so last year it completely sold out. Um, wasn't it like the first like two days or something like that, or was yeah, it like by day two? Yeah, so it's going to be pretty insane. So I would like for um, you guys to you know put together a template or something, an image that you guys can um, share and message to your peeps. And you can start messaging as early as tomorrow. So I've already done it all weekend saying, hey, uh, you know, I would love to welcome you back. This is being released. If you're, you know, I know you liked it last year kind of thing. However it looks for you. I also had a couple people that, um, you know, kind of fell off the bandwagon altogether and said, you know, I'm going to be doing uh, – a fit for fall, uh, you know, come back, kids are in school, I'd love, you know, to have you guys come back, and this would be a great time to start that, and what I did is I actually went, and I made a page with notes, and I went on all these people's Facebooks, and took one note away from it, so I included it, and I actually did the video of it, so I did a quick video, super excited, so they can, and I sent it to them, I got 20 videos done in like 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes, like five minutes. So, because they're quick in and out and they see it and you know you've, they've seen it because you Facebook message it to them. So, yeah, easy way to keep track of it. But so that is coming out. Um, I know for myself personally, it did, I mean, amazing things for my business. I cycled crazy. Um, I, how many of you got lots of cycles from that last year? Oh, yeah. Me. Okay. So, um, we can, you know, definitely use this to help push you guys in momentum and your businesses. Okay. So this is where the new challenge comes. Um, I want you all to run. If you have not hit that five cycle bonus yet, my challenge is for you. We are going to run you to that five cycle bonus this week. Okay. Who has not hit that five cycle bonus? Okay, so we've got quite a few of you. Um, so we are we can um, do like a quick training on that later during the week. Even it can be even a phone call if you guys need help or um, understanding that more. There is in the back office you can actually go and it you know it's just five cycles. That's a lot of money, guys, because you're going to get the five cycle bonus. It's $250 the first time. You're going to get the five cycles, which is another $250. So that's $500 right there. And chances are you're probably going to be reaching down to people, hopefully getting con some consultants. Because um, last week we had talked about, um, you know, getting people excited and getting them to share their posts, their initial posts. And by doing that, helping them become that consultant, you get that extra hundred dollars, plus you're going to get those cycles. It, it, it could be a really, really huge week. So let's launch forward and do that this week. Um, is everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we need to make sure is that all of you are paid as consultants. If you have anybody in your team, um, we technically have um, an hour and almost like 20 minutes left. I've got Dawn, and um, she's that's why she's multitasking. She is actually trying to get herself active status back to consultant, so she can qualify for that. So just make sure you are active consultant 
and you do, you can run for that. So, um, any other goals that people want this week other than what I've just thrown at you? <laughs> no? <clears throat> um, I have a goal. What's that? Um, I want, I really want to help the people who are on my team get this five cycle bonus. So it's not necessarily a personal goal for me because I've already received it. But um, like I saw a couple of you raise your hands and I'm really, really excited push forward and get that, whether we do that through three-way calls or just going out and chatting with people and, you know, just helping everybody. Like, I'd love to do that this week. That'd be awesome. Okay. And I'm happy to take any three-way calls as well if you guys need any help with those. So um, if, if Becca can't do it, please reach out to myself or I don't know if Teenie will have a voice, <laughs> but we can check with her too. And um, Tara? How are you on three-way calls? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm picking on you tonight. Yeah, you can call me. I'll help with three-way calls. Okay. <laughs> awesome, because I know she's, she's going to be our, she, you're white, so she was our missing link. I was <laughs> yellow, but then I turned white or something. I know, weird, huh? <laughs> I don't like white. I'm like, I'm pink. <laughs> we have a couple pinks in here. <laughs> yes, we but I'd love to help. Um, combing the tree and like looking at numbers and that's one thing I love to do like seeing where you can pull like how much BV here and like I don't know the tree's one of my faves she's really good at it oh good then I you and I need to talk some more because I that's not my favorite <laughs> like I just like the numbers like oh this person oh, that this hurts my head it really yeah. hurts my head I'll do it and I, you know, I love doing it for other people, but it's like I get sometimes I look at it and I get so overwhelmed. I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> so awesome guys. So we have Tara we could use. Um, and like when you guys are doing your five cycle bonus this week and sharing those shakes. So there's a couple ways you can get creative when you are messaging your people. Um, some of you probably have a lot of fence riders. I know I do. So a lot of my messages this weekend were to those people saying, hey, it's a secret, but I wanted to let you know that pumpkin spice is coming out if you'd like to buy one. So you can just have them, you know, you can try it, no obligations. All you need is their credit card information and their shipping address. You're not gonna put them in as a consultant and say your husband is inactive, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you can put those orders, say you have like four people who want to order it. That's a hundred BV right there on that side that you're going to need to help cycle. So we can help look at those at your sides and what sides are going to need it because some of you don't have a strong leg and it's a balancing act. So trying to find that groove and, but we can, you know, we're pretty good at being creative and making things happen. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the pumpkin shake. It could be, you know, We've got all that new dairy-free stuff. We've got, you know, coffee. What Do you want to try one product? Maybe it's an athlete or somebody at the gym that, you know, hey, I think this, um, you know, the Amp Power would be great for you if you want to try it. So be creative. Think outside that box. And we can help you kind of displace and put wherever you need. Or if you're struggling, message one of us, <coughs> put it in the, post in the thread, and let us know how we can help you. Okay. Do not be afraid to ask for any help whatsoever. Um, how is how is everybody's week? I'd love to hear how your week went. So I'll go across. Um, I'm going to call you all out now. So <laughs> Carol, let's go start with you. You're muted. <laughs> okay, hold on. I okay. got you. Sorry. Um, so my week was challenging. I was um, in the hospital for a few days, but um, I did talk to the paramedic about ice. <laughs> the, well, we have uh, on the back of our piano, like a president's pack was set up for a launch party we had done and another one coming up. And so I just left it there and uh, he was, I saw him looking at the stuff, you know? So, um, I, I tried there. Uh, I actually, he wants to know more about the business side of it. 
making money. So him and his wife are uh, waiting for a call from me to meet. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, Carol, real fast, since my husband's a paramedic, if you want him to talk with them, he'd be happy to. I mean, we can oh, chat more later, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, so yes, I was pretty drugged for a few days, but I'm, I'm not anymore. So I'm back in the game now. <laughs> all right. Well, she's running for five. We, we chatted before everybody else jumped on. So we're <laughs> all full run. So super excited about that. Um, Becca, I know you are recovering. You want to share about your week? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my week last week was awesome um i heard two phenomenal podcasts that totally um were in line with uh exactly how i want to run my business um one of them was from tracy o'malley and the other one was actually from um kayla craft and the things that i took away from them were uh just being authentic and um oh you know i also heard an australian team call that was the one Kayla, this is good, but this one actually was wow. And so this one, going back to really what worked out when I initially started, which was talking to people and not hiding behind Facebook. So my um, social media presence is going to be a little bit diminished, not too much. I'll still keep consistently posting, but I don't know that I'll be commenting on too much just because I'm going to be putting my phone down a lot and just talking to people and making connections that way. So it was just kind of an aha moment. I, I'm super jazzed for this week. Awesome. Jacqueline, <laughs> you're up doll. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, um, my week was good. Um, I think it was a mixture of both. Um, I have a couple of friends who are interested in trying it and I was actually what you said, Marquis, I never, them and then just placing an order under someone else that thought never crossed my mind. Um, so I don't know why. Um, so I think I'm going to go with that approach this week with them and like, especially with the pumpkin spice, they want to try it. So that was good to know. Um, I did have a couple friends who decided, I mean, they're already enrolled. They've been using the products for a while and um, did Whole30 last month and cut the products out completely and have decided Whole30 was a lot easier for them um, than doing a shake, two shakes every day. <laughs> um, so that was kind of a bummer <laughs> to have two people drop out like that. But um, we'll see um, if they change their minds later. <laughs> so um, They'll be back. Yeah, I, I think they'll be back. It'll. The funny thing is, is that one of them, their mom is on Isogenics too, and she's doing great. So... They'll be back. I'm not super yeah. concerned. It's just kind of a bummer. <laughs> and, uh, but, um, other than that, I mean, my week is good. Uh, just relaxing more this week than doing a lot of business work. Took some time with the family and went to the mountains and um, just refocused. And uh, now with pumpkin spice, I'm just ready to hit next week hard <laughs> and reach that five cycle bonus I haven't ever hit yet. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, how many cycles are you consistently? Are you? I'm like none. Okay. That's <laughs> like, fine. I That's maybe fine. like one or two cycles a month. Okay. That's like a really good month. Okay. Kind of helps gauge kind of where to push. Yeah. I mean, are you, are you having on one side or no? I'm a converted person. <laughs> so it's really hard for me to talk to people. <laughs> um, am I what? I'm sorry. Um, you and I will talk this week. We'll, we'll okay. set up a, um, yeah, okay. That's great. All right. <laughs> we'll chat. Okay. Uh, Miriam, how was your week, doll? Oh, hold on, sweetie. There you are. It was fun. I um, traveled to Rebecca Mog's house because she's my daughter. So um, it was a, uh, Rebecca, can you fill in for me? <laughs> I had a stroke back, back in March, so the speech is, is limited. Okay. Yeah, we're taking it slow with her because we don't want to wear her out or anything because she's still getting her energy back, but she's making sure she's tuning in and doing all the learning that she can. And I mean, she's just in my, my dining room. 
but oh, <laughs> but it's been really nice to talk about isogenic stuff together and to gang up on my dad and say, no, you're drinking your shake. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's been good. Oh, wonderful. Well, it's nice that you get to do it with your daughter. I, I wish my mom would really do it with me. But. Well, I am. Um, she approached me about it. Um, and we were out here last summer and, and I thought, well, let's, I can go ahead and do it. Good. I just needed her social security number. <laughs> I, love you. I love you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Becca, how was your week, honey? I don't know where it went. I blinked and it was gone. <laughs> um, mostly, I wasn't completely off the grid, but I, I really did kind of a soul detox week. Um, I've really been into this Armor of God Bible study that has just been incredible. For any of you who um, believe in God, I highly recommend it. I couldn't get it on. I think it's still sold out on Amazon because of Tracy O'Malley's push, but I found it on Barnes & Noble. Um, so I've been doing that and really kind of working through some of my mind blocks because I've been around long enough. I have this incredible foundation. Like anyone who looks at me thinks I should be more successful than I am. Um, and I just, I've been having all these incredible realizations and realizing it's a lot, it's a lot to do with me and these mind blocks that I have in place. So I spent a lot of time this week working on that. Um, so I know some of you messaged me this week and I did very brief answers or no answers at all. So I do apologize. I'm going to be catching up. Um, but it was really just about taking care of me so that going forward, I can actually really push through and do it instead of doing a lot of work for no results. Good for you. Good for you, hon. All right, Michelle, you're up, love. All right. Well, I um, have a couple of people interested. One of them would like me to just buy some shakes for her. And same kind of thing. I thought, oh, well, I've never done that before, but no problem. So um, I was kind of trying to put her off until I heard about the pumpkin shakes so that she would have more options to choose from. Um, but I sent her home. We had a barbecue last weekend, and I sent her home with a strawberry and a, I think it was the vanilla chai, um, and she loved them and sent me a text later in the week and said, okay, I'm, I'd like some more. Let's get in touch. I said, okay. So I kind of pushed her off, said this weekend was too busy, <laughs> and I was kind of waiting for the pumpkin to come back. So um, I'll get in touch with her and let her know those are available, and then I'll um, put that order underneath somebody that could use it. But I, don't, I have very few active going on right now. Um, a lot of people tried it. They um, had good success the first couple of months or so and just kind of kept plunking along but never saw any more results and didn't put any more effort into what they could do to get over that hump. They just wanted it to happen magically. And, you know, you do have to kind of change it up. You have to do a few things. And um, you know, I gave them encouragement, tried, and they've just, they're just kind of done. Um, and I have another friend who I talked to over the weekend during my long volleyball day. And um, she's got a friend interested as well that they want to do it together. So I'm going to set up a day um, either this week or next week. And we sit down and talk and get them signed up. So then that would be signing my friend up and then signing her friend up under her. So hopefully that'll happen this week too. Fabulous. Okay, sweet. All right. Um, and you and I will talk this week too because we need to play and yes, my stuff. So. All right. Tara, please do share. <laughs> Who, me? Yes, you. Oh, okay. I was like looking at the list of who's on the call. I'm just um, going across my board here. <laughs> I know, right? I only see like four people at a time up top. So you can change that. Oh, are you on your phone? No. Oh, you can change that. I'm you afraid can... if I hit something. Oh, oh, there I got everybody now. Oh, see? But I like seeing the big screen of who's talking. Oh. But okay. yeah, I had a good week. It's busy. Husband's oh. traveling, but. I'm having the Monday night meetings at my house, and I think Kayla's um, meet, like her training this week was really good, and I really like how she says to focus more on getting people started on the products, because people who have come with the business, I started for the products, but the people start for the business, they're like out in a month because they didn't make a couple thousand dollars, so making sure they fall in love with the product first and want to share it and just know that it all comes in time because this takes time, you know, so it's good. I just need to reach out to more people. I'm a chicken a lot of times, truthfully, like messaging people, not getting message back. I had a lunch with a girl who 
she's just been interested for so long. So we're like, yeah, let's go to lunch. And she's like, uh, there's no way I'm giving you my social security. I'm like, I text her today. I'm like, did you decide on what pack? And she never texts me back. So we'll see. I'm going to definitely message people about the pumpkin shakes though, for sure. I think that'll be big. Yeah. Well, and I don't know exactly when they're going to release it, but uh, social security numbers is not going to be an issue for much longer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. They're get, they're going to go away with it. So, wow. yeah. So, How do they do that, though? Because, I mean, I try to explain to people. I mean, you should be able to be an associate on auto ship, but I get it how to make money with a 1099. It's no different than someone getting a job at Chipotle. You need a SOCH. I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, I don't know, because I know Canada doesn't ask for it. Okay. Mexico, none of them do. So there must be some way that they can, I don't know. I, I'll ask my, my father-in-law. He's a, an accountant. He might know. So. Yeah, interesting. I mean, some people are just really, I'm like, okay, how many people do we have in like Ignite Your Life or Life on Fire? There's thousands. They've all given them. But some people are very particular about it. And I told her, I'm like, you can get 10% off. Um, I even offered to give her like my $25 bonus on a 30 day. I'm like, that'll cover, you know, your enrollment or whatever. And then um, she thought about maybe doing the healthy lifestyle pack, but I was like, well, you're not going to get 10% off and I'm not offering to pay for your enrollment. So right there, you're just saving a ton of money, but we'll see. She might come around. Okay. All right, Corlin, how are you? I'm, um, I'm doing okay. <laughs> I actually started a uh, manager factory group with some of my associates. I only took five people because this is the first time I've ever done anything like that. And so, anyway, so I only took five people. And we were working all month, the month of September. And so last week, they put up their first power post that I helped them with. Um, I, they, I gave them suggestions and, and everything kind of like you guys did in the ready, set, grow group. And, um, anyway, so they put their power post up on Thursday and had some good responses, not necessarily asking about Brown box, but very positive and um, supportive of their journey. So that was fun and exciting. Some of them got a few people that asked about Brown box and we have, um, a cup. So anyway, that's exciting for me. Um, and hopefully they are excited about it. Um, and then I personally have also um, been kind of reaching out to people. I've been chatting with people on Facebook individually, um, having good conversations, building relationships. Um, but this last week, I started asking them if they would like to hear more about um, isogenics. And I had several of them come back and say, yeah, sure. And so that was something that I hadn't really been doing. I'd have conversations with them, hoping that they would ask about it. And um, anyway, so I stepped up a little bit and asked them if they wanted to learn about it. And I think three of them came back and said that they did. So that was exciting for me too. That's that was like a good week. week. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And then we're just going to get you to run to that five cycle bonus and you're going to have an amazing yeah. week. And that's right. Yes. So, okay. So let's see, Teeny, I'm going to skip right over you, honey. I love you. You keep that voice quiet. <laughs> Stephanie, how was your week, honey? Uh, my week. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm using my phone headphones on my computer and I never done that. Anyway, um, <laughs> my week was good. I, so I never thought of, you know, asking somebody whether they just wanted to try a canister of shakes and getting their credit card number either. But I did do something similar, um, with some friends of mine last month, um, picked them up some shakes when I was at or maybe two months ago, whenever we were at celebration, I picked them up some shakes um, and I brought them back. So they tried them for like two weeks, three weeks, and then they, she enrolled um, this week. So nice. that definitely is a good door opener. Um, 
I know some, you know, sometimes people don't want you to try to do those kinds of things, but you got to know your friends and, you know, know what works for them. Um, so that definitely worked out well. So hopefully with pumpkin spice, we'll be, I'll be able to replicate that. We'll all be able to replicate that, um, this week. Let's see what else. Uh, I guess that's, um, I don't know. That's about it. I learned, um, from the ready, set, grow. I need to plan posts. Like <laughs> I can't. I've always done posts on the fly and I've always been like, had this thing in my head about, well, I have to, you know, if I plan them, is it really, I don't know. It doesn't feel like they're genuine if I plan them, but yeah, I need to plan them. I at least plan a couple per week, you know? Well, that, you know what you planned is those four. Yeah. And that's it. Everything else is on the fly. Like for me, you know, I plan my four kind of uh, isogenics related, whether it be the product placing. And because, you know, we kind of give you guys all those tools. So you guys have the opportunity because now you know how to do the texting over the words. You know how to do all the different types of posts. And so you just choose which one you want to do. Mm -hmm. whatever speaks to you that week so and that's kind of the cool part about it and you can you can kind of plan them and kind of go from there so yeah so that was a really great takeaway I mean the whole class was awesome but that was definitely a big takeaway for me was <laughs> I need to plan some things <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, I think that's about it it was a crazy week because like Jacqueline said, we all went out of town together as a family. So um, I was trying to get things done with my ISA business and trying to get things done with, uh, I work at our church um, for a few hours every week. And so I was just trying to get everything done in three days so that we could leave. Um, right. So I'm looking forward to a normal week this week and a lot of messaging with people. Um, yeah. Good. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, Margaret. Okay, can you see me? Can you hear me? I see feet or something now. I don't know what I see. <laughs> I did okay. see. There you are. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you now. Okay, okay so we've um, – hi, everybody. So, like, this is the highlight – well, I shouldn't say. This is my second highlight of the day. Um, being able to get nine miles in this – morning was like a feat in itself but we're having morning came, came home and changed and I look like a train wreck so I'm sitting in my closet <laughs> um so um three weeks um have been amazing with being a part of this group and um kind of being able to bring out, I mean, I'm a very positive person anyway, but just kind of digging a little bit deeper with the Isogenics product and, you know, that part of it, um, which I've told um, Teeny, this is like so far removed from my day job. You know, it's high stress banking. Um, and, and I had told her on Friday um, when she posted a message, I wish I would have seen it earlier because I truly let um, all that, good vibe that I'd had over the three weeks kind of get sucked out of me on Friday. So I kind of actually even felt, I guess, ashamed of myself because I was irritable, which I hate being. Um, but I figured I own it and to me to be a better person. So, and then um, the whole top 10 point earner for the million dollar challenge um, was a nice surprise. Cause I saw my name pop up in there and I don't really quite know how I'm still kind of learning how you like cycle and earn points and all this good stuff. So, um, so it was a busy week. I kind of have already reached out and I'm actually going to at work tomorrow, reach out to my five ladies and have a meeting regarding, you know, the whole pumpkin spice that's going to be released and what have you. Um, I think I've cycled maybe two times and I think when I called and checked on Friday I think I have another one that's pending so I don't know if maybe somebody can maybe help me to see where I'm out to try and do that since I think I might be close um and then Absolutely. kind of yeah and then I've kind of um 
kind of done the same thing where I have a niece that works out pretty hard. Um, two months ago, I think I ordered her every type of protein product. So the Isoline, the Isoline Pro and the Isopro. So I will definitely reach out to her um, regarding the pumpkin spice. Uh, see if, you know, if something she wanted to commit to um, trying. There's another nursing mom where I gave her some packages. Um, and I kind of just, that's like, again, the, the, the good part of when I am walking around the bank and the department, um, just, you know, if someone's in a bad mood and I always tell them, let me make you a shake. That'll straighten you right up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so this, so this part of it, 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 it uh, it's a lot of juggling, but the juggling to me, the far, the, the reward really for me is just the, the good feelings and the positive part that's, Again, I'm that, but it just brings it to me for a different level. So I'm thankful for that. Um, actually, just for, for all of that, because I think it's helped me find a joy that I think I kind of let die off a little bit when I lost my mom, um, which I kind of didn't smile, I think, as well. Um, so I'm feeling that joy that I think I know is there. So that's all good. Um, yeah. So I'm sitting in my closet. <laughs> now I feel like I'm rambling. So, but maybe <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, share about your son. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Well, um, me a text. Cause all along he kept telling me, cause actually when I went to orange theory, he's telling me, Oh, that's a cult. That's a cult. And I'm like, just go try it. You might like it. Well, sure enough, he is now an assistant manager and an orange theory. So tell him about the shame other cult you're doing and you know, I don't need to do it. And so I've been telling him these kids eat so poorly with the fast food, which makes me crazy. Um, so I've been telling him just to, to try it. So he did send me a text like last Thursday and said, okay, mom, sign me up for your ISO transformation package or whatever. So it was like till 11 o'clock at night because I kept dinking around and then making sure I was giving him like a variety of the other on the go kind of thing. And so it was 11 o'clock at night. And then I think actually twice it timed out on me. But when I finally hit send, I was like, okay, that was like the highlight of my day. So um, he's had it. I, he, he's just, I said, you know what? You just got to start slow. At least try and do two shakes a day. Cut out the fast food as much as you can. Um, and he's not really a soda drinker. So, yeah. So that was, so that was a good deal. Good. So. Well, and we're going to have a better week this week. So, yeah. Yeah. So we're, we got plans for you. Super excited. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. Uh -huh. for <laughs> okay, Katie, you're up, hon. You're in the dark. I think I see. I think she's driving. I am driving. I'm pulling off soon. Okay. <laughs> okay. And maybe I'll even turn on my light for you all. Maybe if I know how. You're so ah, hi, <laughs> I'm driving home from the hospital. So, um, I've had a crazy week. It's been good and bad all at the same time. Um, but trying to see the light and everything as usual. Um, we, I've been really pushing the 10% off right now because I have so many people that are sitting on the fence. I probably have six of them that will reach out to me and then back off and then reach out to me and then back off. And so actually was texting with two of them today and told them the clock was the deadline and neither one of them have pulled the trigger but i do have an appointment with one tomorrow to actually sit down and basically order her pack so one is finally coming on um i'm hoping to use the pumpkin spice um as you know basically a carrot to dangle in front of their eyes to hopefully help kind of close some of those because you know it kind of gets frustrating after a while when you pour into all the these people and then they're so excited and basically ready to give you their credit card and then you don't hear from them for 
a while again and it's just like oh you know so it's just trying to figure out when their time is the right time and um and just being here when they're ready that's what i'm waiting for is them to be ready so i just it's been a lot of work this week i feel like um and so i'm hoping everything comes to fruition this coming week awesome well we're gonna run you two for the five cycles so that would be cool i'm ready super excited <laughs> I'm ready to go red this week. <laughs> so busy. I was just like, I don't even know what happened, but I've got like so much bundled energy and I'm on a mission. I did like all the kids laundry. They're not very happy with me. So <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm so excited. All right, Tasha, did she walk away? Oh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> That's okay. She just got, we just got her back to consultant. So she's good for the five cycle bonus. We're going to run her. So, and I think Dawn is busy. So. Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm like craziness going on. <laughs> Trying to get my kid dinner and eat dinner and get ready for bed and mess with people and I don't know, run the world. No big deal. Anywho, these, um, I've had massive action since we started the 90 day game plan as far as getting over myself and, um, look at, there's already like three text messages. See, um, I've been able to add, um, lots of people into waste of wastelines, putting the tools, um, and information in front of a lot of people. Um, I think I've messaged about 90 people in the last three weeks. So as I'm going through my my Facebook list, it's getting shorter and shorter. And I'm trying to just do like 25 to 30 people as my goal for the week. Um, and then if I hit that goal, then I'll do it again. And my goal is to hit it by Wednesday. If not, I've given myself the seven days to reach out to them. Um, so far, I've been hitting it by like, I don't know, Wednesday. Um, I've been doing video messaging. Um, Facebook video messenger has been a game changer because you can pre-watch it. Um, I don't like the video recording or the voice recording because there's no take backs. Like it, it just sends it once it's done. So it kind of freaks me out. Um, so I just threw on my game, my game hat and I just sent out within like 20 or 30 minutes. I sent out 25, um, video messages the other night. So it's really cut my business time hours that I have a day um, to do the business, I am so much more productive as far as um, getting, getting connected with people. So I'm super proud of myself because in the 17 months, I've never um, been like this before. I've never been organized. I've never had my whiteboard all set. I've never been in action. I've been getting ready to get ready or learning or trying to figure this out. And and now I feel like I just have my confidence, so I'm just doing it, and I'm doing my IPAs and stuff. Um, now the next phase is to go from being excited about that to not getting frustrated that nothing's happening. <laughs> so I have three active on my left and none on my right, which means I'm an associate. So I'm, like, super frustrated about that. It's been three weeks, and I've never been just associate since I I started super frustrated just that you're doing all of this work and you're doing the do and you're doing what you know everyone tells you to be doing and you're I was expecting in my own mind that I'd be enrolling that all these people are showing interest and you know what um I was just kind of having a moment you know this week we've had the tummy bug all three of us I threw my neck out so I've been on the couch for three days like it's just been a really weird week and it it was a an um a low point for me that I just felt attacked like in my mind and just started getting in that space again and started getting frustrated. And, um, so for me, um, Marquis called and lit a fire in me about two hours ago and it was exactly what I needed because it just, um, it just kind of what it showed me was I need to stop setting expectations. You know, I listened to, a, um, a little celebration thing from, um, what's her name? Peter Kelly. And she was talking about working for your vision, right? And, and when you're working for your vision, your vision doesn't have limits. So when you say, I want two enrollments, or when you say, I want three enrollments, then you're putting limits on yourself. And you're going to stop working when you hit two enrollments. You're going to stop working when you hit three enrollments. You're going to stop working when you've hit that goal. But when you're working for your vision, it's so big and it's so massive. It's in, 
it, it's just not capable of, of doing it all in one week, but you're continuously working on it. And so you work harder because your vision is so big. You work longer, you push yourself more, you give more, you reach out more, you stop being afraid and you just do it. And then you're like, I'm going to go throw up now, but you did it. Right. And it's just those moments of not putting that cap of expectation of how I feel like this should run. Um, or that why is this person so successful when they're just selling books? Like really you got a $500 check and you sell S1 books. Good for you, but it's books. Like how do you make that much money or you're doing makeup? How are you making that much money? Like you just start comparing yourself. And when you get into that game, it's so bad. Like I'm so bad at that. Like why is this working for everybody else, but not me? And just continue to remember that this is my journey that this is not going to look like anybody else's, that this is going to be different. It's going to happen when it's happened. And unless I quit or give up or stop and turn my back on isogenics, it will happen. And not putting that limit of when it should happen and not putting that cap on of what my expectations are, but just knowing that my vision is what, what is my vision? My vision is to help impact everybody's life that I come to. My vision is to help give without checking my bank account. My vision is to be debt free and whatever that looks like, whatever time frame that looks like, I have no idea, but that's what I'm putting on my vision board. Just that work for your vision because everything else has limitations. Everything else has a time frame, and I get frustrated and I'm like, man, I get frustrated. So I'm not doing that anymore. And no, we're going to change that. Yes. We're definitely changing that. We're changing that this week. This whole week guys is going to be a, fresh week. No holidays, no nothing. We're all going to find our red. We're all, you guys all have it very capable to get that five cycle bonus. I have no doubt, no doubt. You have the loves and support behind you guys. You have us. We're here every step of the way. Um, so that is, you know, my personal goal for you guys. And I will, <laughs> I've got everything set up and arranged and organized this week. So um, my book still has some spots, so I am happy to help in any way that I can. So reach out, let us know what we can do for you guys. Um, also, if you guys have not yet, I think most of you have, but follow up with your team, the um, Million Dollar Challenge. You need to opt in to do that. Tomorrow is the last day for it to go retroactive from um, it because it's going to go back, I think, for the beginning of September. I can't remember the exact dates. But um, all you do is you go in your back office. If you go to contest and promotions, go to the million dollar challenge and just hit I'm in. Okay. Walk, tell your people, make sure to do it. I'll post it again tomorrow um, to make or tonight to make sure everybody gets in there. But you guys are already gaining points. You guys are getting all kinds of stuff. They're going to be giving away free enrollments, free shipping, all kinds of coupons that you guys are going to be able to pass along to your people. And you're going to get on some board and there's cash prizes and there's all kinds of crazy stuff in there too. So um, don't forget to do that. So um, big week, big plans, pumpkin. Make sure you guys get those um, posts put together. So you guys can, you know, start, start messaging your peeps tomorrow. I'll message and, you know, I'm going to see how you guys are all doing, but message your peeps, get it all organized. Um, be positive. I know we all have crazy things, but smile. Just remember to smile. When you walk by somebody, just remember to smile at them. You don't know what's going on in their lives. The other day I really wanted to, I, I seriously, I don't know if you all saw my post, but <laughs> Oh, I don't even know how I made it through Friday. I don't. And it was either cry or laugh. I chose laugh. So smile, laugh, have a beautiful week. And I am excited to see what comes about. So have a great evening, ladies. Love you all. Bye. Bye.